everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with uh, one of my lovely co-hosts on this uh, in this series, my good old friend Kenzie. Hello! I am back, and I am super excited for this story. Me too. <laughs> now, the, the wheel did land on these two, but I had no experience of, like, trying to find books of these this pair, let alone any, like, Pokemon-related books, like, ships. Yeah. So, uh -huh. I left this up to Kenzie of finding mm -hmm. a good book for this. And, uh, yeah, it this seems... one is really good. Yeah, and it's it like... does... does seem like you delivered on it. Yep. <laughs> so, basically, um... So, so basically, Gloria and Marnie are characters from, po characters from Pokemon Sword and Shield. And they're a pretty and they're a pretty popular ship actually. Mm -hmm. They're actually one of my favorite Poke ships. And I found this story and I've read um I read I read the whole book once and it is super good. Probably one of the best fan fictions I've ever read, actually. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Th this is like it's S here for you. This is your magnum opus. Yeah. Yes, this is really good. And it's super cute. Nice. There's like I, a lot. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming There's like since... a lot of really... Oh, sorry. Wait, no, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I keep talking over you for a moment. <laughs> okay, so... Th so there's like a lot of really wholesome moments. There's a few sad moments, but overall... Overall, it's pretty sweet. And, uh, I think you'll really like it. Alrighty. I'm assuming since you picked this out, this doesn't have anything, like, weird going on. <laughs> I promise. Okay, good. <laughs> I can't handle it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this one is called Pokemon Dark Armor. It is a <laughs> Gloria... That, that's her name, right? Gloria X. Martin. Gloria. Gloria X. Martin. Mm -hmm. Actually, her name is Shield in here. Yeah. I think that's like her nickname. Okay. Mm -hmm. The shield has been the champion of Galar for nearly a, ne a year. The gym challenge is coming up, and with it, and a certain problem is worsening. Additionally, she finds herself falling for her <laughs> friend. Uh, how the fuck do you pronounce that? Pike, Pike Moth Leader Marnie. Why did I? I, th I think it's her? I, I think it's Spike Moth. Spike Moth. Yes, yeah, Spike Moth. <laughs> in, in my defense for the bad pronunciation, Pokemon games are in voice acted, so I don't know the pronunciation of these towns. Yeah. I'm lucky I know how to read Unova. <laughs> I'm lucky I know how to read my own name. <laughs> yeah, me too. I love the, the tags for this immediately. Like, the first ones are kind of normal, where it's like, hashtag armor, hashtag dark. Hashtag dark armor, and then it's just like, hashtag gay. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag lesbian. Yeah. God, you gotta love it already. I love the hashtag Yuri too, because they are a lesbian couple. Which, yeah. which doesn't really give me a lot of green flags, since, uh, I mean, the opposite of Yuri is Yaoi, and whenever I see Yaoi tag, I usually see smut in books, so. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm a little scared, but <laughs> if you say this is good and it's not gonna have anything like that, I will believe you. <laughs> yeah, it it won't. Don't worry. I I read through I read through the whole the whole book and there's nothing too weird that happens in it. So. Oh, thank God! I don't have to like <laughs> say anything. Yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, like we start reading this and like we slowly like go mad with <laughs> with like what we're reading. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God for this. I don't have to change any of the POV replacers. I don't have to change a damn thing. <laughs> yeah. I just get to, like, just read the the raw versions of these without having to replace a bunch of, like, right. like abbreviations. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what is this? Oh, it's just called Chapter 1. They just... Okay, they're all just... Yeah. What, mm -hmm. what is this bottom one? Sorry, I'm looking at the list of chapters, and this bottom one's called... Hesser... Wait. Hesseract? Hesseract? What the fuck is Hesseract? Like... I, 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 think, I think that's like a epilogue chapter. Like yeah. a little epilogue. 
Oh, like, gotcha. Okay. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't know if that's- that, it, since it's a chapter one, I didn't know if it was like a rewrite or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, chapter one. Uh, what do I have to flip? Oh, I can flip the, my candle lid. Oh? Okay. Uh, do you want to do like this cool side that has like, I don't even know how to describe it. It has like this weird ass shape on it. Or do you want to be yeah. the, uh, the, the back side with a little rubber? Um, I'll be the lid. Alright. Eh. Alright, I'm coming <laughs> first. Okie dokie. <laughs> Alright, chapter one. I can do this second. I can read. My, my <laughs> skills will carry on through 2024. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll get through this. I can, I you can got do it. it. I, I believe in myself. Yeah. <laughs> the reporter shoved the mic in my face. Champion Shield, I'm Maria Lilac, a reporter from Galler News. How have you adapted to the fame that comes with the champion position? Well, I'll tell you one thing I haven't adapted to. All you bloody reporters shoving a camera in my face. <laughs> I forgot they're British. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the reporter ignored me. How does it feel knowing you're a huge influence on boys and girls alike? I sighed. Fine, <laughs> I'll humor you. It's an honor to be such an influence on the youth. Every battle, I think about how people will view me, how I'll inspire and encourage people. It's all quite intimidating. People are curious about the relationship between you and the two new gym leaders. Care to care to comment? I shrugged. <laughs> well, how the fuck do you actually say this guy's name? I always called him Bebe. Yeah. I think it's I think it's actually bead. Oh, that makes a lot more sense because that's not a bead, that's a yeah. bead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, bead it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, Fade and I really never got along. We're still at odds, really. But he's quite skilled, if a, if a bit arrogant. As for Marnie, we've always gotten on well. Met her in Monostoke Hotel. She already had an entire fan club. We met each other several times during the gym challenge, and we're still friends. And what about the other gym challengers and professor's assistant? Uh, are the rumors of a romantic relationship true between you two? The reporter flared. <laughs> I- I- what? I- hem- What? <laughs> what did I say? I- I shook my head. <laughs> yeah. No, not, not in the slightest. We're just best- we're just best mates, that's all. And for the question, everyone's been dying for the answer. Where- where did you get your Dynamax capable- Toxicity, the reporter pushed. I stiffened. My mind immediately flashed to the wild area. A, a tent pitched next to Lake Axwell. My own laughter, mom watching in the background. A grin, bearded face. The champion? The reporter said. I clenched my teeth. Like I've said to other interviewers with the same with every other draft wait. Like I like I've said in every other interview with every other draft reporter, as, of, as such as myself, I will not be answering that question. Now, you'll excuse me, I have somewhere else to be. I ran, away from the cameras and the reporter. I heard the reporter yell at me, but I didn't listen. I, I couldn't be in front of a camera. How would it look as the champion of Galar have a breakdown on live TV? I ran. But I didn't have enough time to react when someone stepped in front of me and I quailed into them. Whoa, watch where you're going, mate, said a familiar voice. I looked up and saw Hop, a clipboard in his hand and the power spark detector in the other. His smile dropped when he saw my face. It, what's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. And not the Pokemon kind. <laughs> you know what? That's kind of true. There, there's Pokemon that are just ghosts. Yeah. But yeah, like ghost type Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> I wiped my tears on my sleeve. Sorry. Another interview. Upside. Asking about a certain Pokemon. I nodded. Oh. Yeah, I said, my voice shaking. If we have such a dramatic experience catching the Pokemon, why do we have it on our team? <laughs> right? I'm just saying. Yeah. 
I feel like that shit should have been boxed or like let go into the wild, not to be right next to us at all times. Right. <laughs> it's my two cents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lord, reporters don't know when to quit, do they? Pop said. He rolled, rolling his eyes. Why don't you walk with me? I can afford it to tell the press to piss off. I sniffed. Thank you, mate. Pop shrugged. No, no issue. What else did they ask you? Pop asked, putting his pen between his teeth. They asked if I was. <laughs> I'm like. They asked if I was hot for you. I. <laughs> Pop scuffed, taking his pen and scratching it, <laughs> scratching out some notes. Like that's new. I bet if you were a boy, people wouldn't be asking that. <laughs> I stared at him. I don't know. They're, 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 times have changed, man. That would be possible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I stared at him, of course, because a guy and a girl can't be close unless they're dating, according to teens these days. <laughs> Pop glanced back at the power spot detector. You know, I was expecting more girls to be hot for me when I was doing the gym ch- Oh. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Now he's just gonna be stuck in a fucking laboratory like for the rest of his days, getting no bitches. Yeah. Damn. Poor Hop. Yeah. Poor guy. I snickered. Imagine that. I'm not sure if I would find it funny or feel really bad for you. <laughs> Hop looked over his notes. Oh, you'd find it hilarious. Either way, you get all the det all the attention, he said. Starting, staring, put, wait, starting putting the clipboard under his arm and starting to walk. I pulled in my my hands behind my head. I'm a champion, Hop. I got both boys and girls who would jump at the opportunity to the sweat to snug me. To snug? I think it says to snug me. Okay. What the fuck is yeah. snug? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's I supposed no to be like idea. snag, like you yank it. Yeah, yeah. Like, like who does? Yeah. It's just um, British slang. Right yeah. off is British. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we crossed the, the Glimwood Tangle. Yet yeah, you're still single, Hop said. And Hop shrugged. I'm just kind of surprised. I expected you of all people to find a significant other, boy or girl. I won't judge. I snorted. Do you not remember me drooling over Nessa when we were younger? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, she is a model. <laughs> she is. She really is. Not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't blame her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mate, I'm. I never caught stuff like that. Though I have noticed that you turn a blushing mess whenever Marty's in her gym leader uniform. Pop said with a smirk. Oh my god, he can pick up on that, but he can't pick up on the other thing? Alright. <laughs> I elbow him hard, and you shut your mouth about it, right? Wouldn't want anything to happen to that stupid face of yours, right? But we're just gonna beat him up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shame. Shame. <laughs> You're gonna be slipping with the magic carps if you catch my drift, if you say anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Up the left. No need, to, no need to be rough. I'm just messing with you. I can feel the heat rising to my face. What are you doing anyway? Bob glanced at his notes again. Oh, I'm taking notes on the power spots. Where they start, their di diameter, stuff like that. We suspect that they may have changed a bit after the darkest day. Now that I mention it, we would like to take a look at Eternatus if you have some time. See if we can find any information on Dynamax or Gigamaxing. Though, I though I know you're oh. constantly busy figuring things out with Leon. Oh yeah, what's Leon doing now? He's just like chilling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tired. Probably. Yeah, where's the new <laughs> champion? Like, what, what does that do with him? He just like goes away. He's like vacationing. I think he actually becomes the new chairman. Uh, no, that's probably right because Rose got arrested. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess someone's gonna do that job. And why not make yeah. Leon, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> I shook my head. It shouldn't be a problem, I yawned. Why don't you catch a taxi and head home once we get to the city? It's 
It's not even late, Hop said. You know my sleep schedule is about as consistent as a spot pattern of a spinda. <laughs> Fair enough, he said. That's actually really funny because no spin is the same because of, like, there's 26 million different varieties or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> about, about an hour later, I closed the door behind me, immediately being hit with a scent of curry. I, I put on a forced smile. I'm home, Mom. Brilliant. Dinner will be ready in a bit, her voice called back. I walked to my room without responding, dropping my bag on the floor and sitting down on my bed. I rub my eyes with my hand. Where did you get your Dynamax-capable, uh, toxicity? I took a deep breath, ignoring the lump in my throat. I'm the champion. I can't cry. I can't cry. I can't! <laughs> Starts crying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Despite my protest. Oh, we did start crying. <laughs> I felt tears start to slide down my face. I heard it. I jumped at the sun vibration from my bag. My phone flew out, landing in my hand. I wonder wish my phone did that. It was cool. Yeah, that yeah, that would be so cool. Like if we had phones like that. Yeah. That just like out. <laughs> A picture I had taken of Marnie and her Mar Morph Peko flashed on the screen. I answered the call. Hey Marnie. You sound a surprise. Oh, um, I wasn't expecting you to actually pick up. I fell back on my bed. I have nothing going on. What's up? Marty took a second to answer. I said you seem kind of off today. Is everything okay? I hesitated. I'd rather not talk about it. I'll tell you someday. Don't worry. <laughs> Marty paused again. If you need to talk, you can call me whenever. Just keep that in mind. I smiled slightly. I will. Thanks, Marty. Jill, the curry's ready! Mom called. That's my cue. I, I can talk tomorrow, okay? See ya, Marty said, hanging up. I sat up, leaving my phone in the bed and wiping the tears from my face. Jill, it's not getting any hotter out here! Call me, Mom! I called back. I stood up, glancing back at my phone. Brilliant. I do have feelings for her. <laughs> Let's go! Yay! Yeah! Also, this is a long ass author's note, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm very American if you can't tell. <laughs> yeah. A lot of blah 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 blah. Lesbian ship, if you're homophobic, don't read. I feel like you should have mentioned that like right at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> but but oh well. <laughs> yeah! Chapter two! Yes! Let's go! I love- I love this book! <laughs> Told you it was gonna be good! <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah. I look up to the sunlight blinding me. I brought up my hand to-, to I brought up my hand to shield my eyes, and sat up. Ro- Rotom? What time is it? I- I drawled sleepily. 8 a.m. My phone buzzed. Jeez, it's early, I muttered. I opened my phone to check some notifications and paused. Looking at my wallpaper, it was a picture of Hop, Marnie, and me. Hop was laughing at it at his cramo, cramo run, wh wh which was peeking at him. I was doing the old bunny ears to Marnie. My my other hand, my other hand is a peace sign in front of me. My teeth flashing. More more more. Pekka was cheer was was cheerily cheerily wa waving at the camera, perched on Marnie's shoulder. On Marnie's face was her signature shy smile. The smile that ne that never failed to melt my heart. Oh, <laughs> she got feelings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am really having a good time reading this. Yeah, this is way better than that time that we read a what, what was the book? Oh. <laughs> um. Uh, I don't know, there's so many that we've read that I'm like, yeah. regret. <laughs> like, there yeah. was that DJX reader, there was that Duncan yeah. was corny. Uh, there was, uh, <laughs> the Ala Tyler, some of the Ala Tyler ones. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyhead. My, my mom greeted me. Mom, it's 8.30. I'm aware, Mom said. 
go, go, going back to humming as she was making tea. I'm going out. Hop, Hop wanted me to help. Hop wanted me to help with with something at the lab. I, I said, rolling my eyes. Field? She asked as my hand touched the doorknob. It's it, it's okay to talk to your friends about what's going on. That's what friends are for. I bit my lip, tightening my grip on the doorknob. I'll keep that in mind. I swiftly walked out, closing the door behind me. What type is it? Poison dragon, I answered. Sonia continued. And, and, and you said it can't Dynamax? It was Dynamax when we first fought it. But 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 I haven't but I haven't been able to Dynamax it since. Sonia nibbled at, at the end of her pin. Do do you have do you have some Azenta with you? I nodded. Yeah? Why? I like to see what readings I get when when all three are present. You and Hop have told me neither ne neither Zacia nor nor Zamazenta can Dynamax. But but there's so but there's so much Dynamax there's so much Dynamax energy coming T coming up, coming off of Eternatus. That 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 is a that is a surprise. He's not crushing the t crushing the town right now. Sonya said. I've seen zero readings of, of the on the Galar legends, which is also which is also peculiar, given the spread energy throughout Galar. They, they they should have at least something. For goodness sake, Sonya, speak English. I said. That's so rude, <laughs> man. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like shield. <laughs> Sonya looked up. Hey, hey, it could be worse. I could be speaking Univan English. Wow, what the fuck wrong with Univa? <laughs> I'll fucking square yeah. up with you, Sonya. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with Univa? Come on now, yeah. come on now, Sonya. Oh, I think I gotta know because Univa's based off of like America. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. that, oh, I got it now. I'll still, I'll yeah. still beat her up. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Because how dare you? Because how dare you, Sonya? Yeah. <laughs> also, I find that really stupid, like, in-game when I when I caught Eternatus, that, like, it has the Gigamax form that you fight and whatnot, and even though you catch it, you cannot make it Dynamax like that. It's like incapable yeah. of Dynamaxing, and I feel like that's very stupid. You don't- just don't yeah. give it a form if I can use it. Yeah, I don't know why, though. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I find it stupid that the dog can't Dynamax either. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I don't know, just my two cents. Don't yeah. add a feature in that other Pokémon can do, where some of them have special forms if three of them cannot. Exactly. That's a mage. Alright. <laughs> I feel better. That's a yep. I agree. <laughs> I I doubt you know how to do that. Hop hop piped up. What what she means is the legends are weird and have seemingly zero dynamax energy in them. Which which would be impossible in Galar. And besides, Kayla said English is far worse. <laughs> well, wait, 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 which that one again? Is that the French one? Yeah, the French one. Oh my god. That is <laughs> so yeah. mean to other regions. <laughs> yeah, damn. They're just, we're just washing the shit out of other regions now, okay? Yeah. Like another person <laughs> comes in here and like, well, it could be worse. They could be talking like Paldanian English. <laughs> yeah. They can talk to Spain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're just making fun of other countries. <laughs> yeah. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> he has a point, I said. Why other regions decided to butcher the Galarian language so horrifically will always be beyond me, Sonya said, shaking her head and rolling her eyes. But this is a rant for another day. <laughs> Hop! Hop, true to his name, hopped up, picking out Zacian's Pokeball. I fished out some Azenta, and we tossed them out. Sonya checked her tablet, and, 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 and her brow furrowed. Something wrong? I asked, reaching between the plates to scratch Zamazenta's neck. The, the reaching's lowered. The, the, these two don't just have no Dynamax energy inside them. It, it looks like they're actively, they're actively expelling it out, or... or Spelling it out of whatever they are close to, Sonya said. That explains that explains why their special moves are so effective against Dynamax Pokemon, Hop said. We don't we know Dynamax come from Eternatus. But what about Gigantamax? 
Son Sonya pondered. Why can only certain species Gigantamax? And why only certain individuals from those species? Zamazenta Zama's hair stood up under under my fingers. Hmm, I looked over. And, 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 and was met with his eyes. I took my hand out, placing it on his head. Immediately, I, I was hit with thoughts, memories. Well, I'm sure I could call it that. It felt like Zamazenta was transferring his feelings and knowledge to me. It wasn't gradual either. One moment nothing, the next it was there. It was the darkest day when Zacian and Zamazenta fought Eternatus with the Galarian Princess. The princess were their trainers. The final blow. They both hit Eternatus with everything they had. It caused an explosion. It blasted Eternatus apart. Left him as what he is now. The shards spread through the region. The energy was absorbed from them. The power spots are spots are, are the spots that got the biggest pieces. But there were certain Pokemon that the pieces hit directly. Exposure to to that raw energy changed their genetic code. Those species reproduced and spread their mutation, ultimately causing Gigantamax. Both Sonya and Hop stared at me. What? Where did that come from? Sonya asked. Zamazenta. Hop's eyebrows raised, just like when Zacian joined my team. What? Sonya asked, clearly bewildered. Zacian and Zamazenta are talking to you? Not exactly, Hop and I said simultaneously. It, 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 it's more its more like they are sharing their thoughts with us, Hop said. So, you just saw the darkest day? Sonya asked me. Nah, n n n no, n no, 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 I, I just know what happened. No, no visual to go with it, I said. Sonya rubbed her temples. When I said I wanted to be a scientist, I had no clue what I was signing up for. <laughs> And whose fault is that? I asked, raising an eyebrow. <laughs> My phone buzzed as I glanced at it. Oh, it's Marty. Are you coming over to battle today? I quickly tap tapped out a reply. Yeah, give me a few minutes. I'm helping Hop and Sonya at the lab. So, so is that all for? So is that all for today? Or I ask. You got somewhere else to be? Sonya asked. Yeah, Marty wants to help. Mar Marty wants me to help her train, I replied. You always seem so eager eager to go over to Spike Month. Just my to Spike Work. For what? Any reason? She asked. Hop smirked at me, <laughs> and I shot him a death glare as a reply. <laughs> I, I just love like the teasing Hop is giving to Gloria to Shield. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I just like battling, that's all. Alright, Sonya said. But could you repeat that story so I can write it down? I did so, I did so, and, so and Sonya set her tablet down. Alright, that'll be enough for today. Thank you, Shield. I nodded, returning Zamazenta and Eternatus. Oh yeah, one more thing, Sonya said as I got to the door. I turned around. What? You're a terrible liar! <laughs> Sonya said with a wink. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now they're both teasing her. <laughs> Let's go. This is so cute. <laughs> I spun around and slammed the door behind me, my face heating rapidly. <laughs> the taxi landed at the entrance of Spike Muth. I raised an eyebrow when I nodded the entrance was bl blocked off again. In front of the entrance was a group of boys all around my age. I reached in my bag and pulled out Rillaboom's Pokeball. Something going something going on here? I called to them. They, they they all turned to look at me, pausing for a second. Is that is that the champion? One asked. They all ran towards me. A Pokeball landed in front of me from somewhere I didn't see. An obstacle flew out and used Obstruct. A familiar voice came behind me. How many times do I have to tell you creeps to get out of my town? I, I backed up I backed up right beside Pierce. Who are these guys? I whispered. Pierce shook his head and rolled his eyes. Ever since Marty took my place, her popularity soared. These guys are obsessed fans and not in the team yell way. You you need you need some help dealing with them? I asked, fidgeting with Rill Rillaboom's Pokeball. <laughs> Pierce shook his head again. Nah, nah, they're a bunch of idiots. Go on inside. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a ring if I need help. I shrugged, sl slipping the Pokeball back 
flipping the pokeball in, in flipping the pokeball back back in my back in my back backpack <laughs> right then have fun the, the group tried to follow me but Pierce obstacle jumped jumped in front of them using obstruct using obstruct again I I heard pokeballs opening as I snuck in the as I snuck in the side entrance as I walked towards the gym I sent a text to Marnie sorry sorry for the wait got 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 help at the entrance I'll I'll, I'll explain when I get there. After a second, she texted back, Marnie, wicked. See you soon. <laughs> she said. She says that a lot, by the way. Wicked. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. When, when when I walked to the square, Marnie was sitting on the step, on a step to the stage. She looked up as I approached. What took you so long? She asked. <laughs> you that you that eager to see me? I asked jokingly. Marty's face flush. <laughs> you, you usually come a bit earlier. That's all. Some fans of some fans of yours were crowded at the entrance, so, so someone closed the door on them. And Piers, and Piers came to get him out. I said, "You've built up quite the fan base." Marty sighed. I mean, sighed. Marty sighed. <laughs> it it wasn't really my choice. I'm a gym leader after all. All of them were thirsty teenage boys. I have a feeling those are the type. Type you'll be see you'll be seeing often, I said. Especially with that outfit you wear. <laughs> Field. Hey. Hey, Ness's outfit is even more revealing, Marnie pouted. Yeah, but you're a dark type gym leader. You're the hot goth girl every teenage boy dreams of. I said with a chuckle. Marty blushed again. Let's just get let's just get to training. Fine by me, I said, grabbing a Pokeball. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. That ending right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> chapter three. What's up? A max ad next to the chapter. Yep. <laughs> I sat down on the stairs of the, of the stage, letting out a large sigh. Felt my my joints pop as I stretched my arms above my head. My Lucario, who had been wandering around for a bit after the battle, walked over to me. Wait, wait, wait! The battle's already over. Did we? Did, did what? <laughs> we didn't get to see I, the fight. I guess so. Man, that <laughs> fucking sucks. Yeah. I thought we we're gonna get some like epic battle, like seeing them dodge and beat the shit out of each other, and it's like yeah. sharing remarks. No, it just like yeah. cuts off, and then we're like, so we won. Yeah, that would have been cool. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One star. <laughs> I snickered. Want to go back in your ball, mate? I asked, pulling out his po his ultra ball. He tapped the ball with his paw. The white energy engulfed him as he flew back in. I slipped the, the ball back in my bag as Marnie returned to the ring, slinging her bag over her shoulder. Are you gonna heal? She asked, sitting next to me. I don't need to. Wow, that's so fucked up to say! They're like, yeah, you didn't do any damage to me that way, I don't have to heal. Yeah. Get better. <laughs> Marnie pouted. <laughs> you don't gotta be so mean about it! <laughs> yeah. I laughed, poking her shoulder playfully, but teasing you was so fun. Marnie cupped her cheeks out with an annoying groan. She let the air out of her cheeks, saying, Well, you're the champion. Can't you at least tell me what I'm doing wrong? I'll start with a question. Why do you only have five Pokemon? I asked, raising an eyebrow slightly. I mean, aren't they limited to, like, three or four for the gym challenges, or no? Yeah. I think so. The, the fact that she has five, that, that's that's more than enough. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, um... <laughs> was the dragon-type person? And why not? I think he has four Pokemon. Yeah. Th I think his name's Raihan? Yeah, Raihan. Yeah, he has four Ra Pokemon. Raihan, yeah. So the fact that she has five, that should be plenty. Yeah. <laughs> Marnie pouted again. I was too focused on the gym challenge to worry about catching Pokemon. It's not like I can just get one more if I wanted to. I just haven't gotten around to it. I jumped to my feet. How about we get you one right now? 
I asked with a grin. Marnie looked up. Right now? Why not? I said, picking up my bag. Marnie smiled with that cute smile of hers. Wicked. <laughs> I'm trying to guess so what she gets. Maybe a haunt no, haunters are ghost poison. Stabilize not in yeah. this game. Uh she already has a zigzagoon, right? No, I don't think she does. No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, her, her, her brother has a zigzagoon, like that a <laughs> fully evolved one. I don't know what else would be on her team, from what I remember from this game. Yeah. I don't know, but- Oh, yeah, she can do like C-Dot, because that's a grass dark type. That'd be pretty cool. That would be cool, yeah. yeah. Just a thought. <laughs> mm-hmm. I finished stirring the curry, pressing the spoon against the edge of the pot and grabbing a couple of plates. Oi! Wait, 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 I'm trying to remember how to pronounce this thing's name. Gazus Pod? Isn't it a water <laughs> bug? That water bug looking thing. Yeah, it's a, I think it's a water bug. Yeah. <laughs> Do me a favor and put out that fire, I said. Gozapod stomped over, using a small liquidation to douse the fire. Thanks, mate, I said, scooping some curry out onto both plates. All of our Pokemon were gathered around the pot, eager to eat the food. Have that! It. As they ate, I walked over to Marnie, sitting against a tree, and held out her plate. She took it. Gigantamax curry? She asked as I sat down next to her. Ever had it? I asked, while taking a bite of mine. Marnie shook her head. I haven't, but you're the one who made it, so it probably tastes amazing. I felt the heat rise to my cheek. I giggled. Aw, oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> Marnie took a bite of the curry, then another, and then several more. I laughed again. I assume you like it? Marnie <laughs> looked over at me as she just noticed I was there, her spoon still in her mouth. I think her cheeks got a bit redder. How can everything, every single thing she does be so cute? <laughs> Marnie swallowed, pulled, pulling the spoon down, yeah, pulling her spoon down and smiling. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. It's a shame we haven't been able to find any good Pokemon, though. Don't worry about it. We still have some time, Marnie said. Marnie finished a curry, walking over and setting the plate on the table. I'm gonna glance around some more, if I see if I can. She trailed off, looking past me behind the tree. I glanced back behind to find a- Oh, a Bishar! That's a good Ooh. one. Yeah, that is a good one. Walking away from the tall grass. Didn't you know it? I muttered, leaving my plate on the ground, standing up. I looked back at Marnie. You got Ultra Balls, right? I have a few, Marnie said, pulling out an Ultra Ball. She called her Scrafty over from the pot, alerting the Bisharp. Thunder Punch. Why would you use Thunder Punch on it? Yeah, on a Steel type? It's a Steel Dark type. It's four times weak against fighting. Just use a fire yeah. move. Or a yeah. fire move. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, thunder, that's not gonna do shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, unless she's just trying to paralyze it. I guess that's smart, but like, I'm still gonna be mad about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scrappy launched towards the fish art. It's. Punch fish sparkling with electricity and planted it on the Bisharp's face. Bisharp stumbled back a few steps, its body seizing up a spark still enabled from it. I cheered. Nice, you paralyzed it! Is that enough? Marnie asked, throwing the Ultra Ball. It hit the Bisharp, who was soon engulfed in the white energy and sucked into the ball. The ball shook two times before shattering, and the Bisharp launched a, an iron head at Scratch, barely phasing it. I ran at Marnie's side. I got loads of Ultra Balls on me if you need them. I should be fine, Marty said. Ice Punch! Why Ice Punch? Never mind. Ice Punch? <laughs> Alright, girl. Do you do uh, you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Granty's fist went from clacking with electricity to crackling with ice, and it once again planted the punch on Bishark's face. Marty threw another Ultra Ball. Three shakes, the ball clicked, and the button went from red to white. Wicked, Marnie said, walking over and picking up the ball. We walked back over to the spot and she tossed out the Bisharp. It almost collapsed, energy still flowing through its body. 
Marnie quickly got a spoonful of curry from the pot and offered it to the fish shark. It was apprehensive at first, but after a bite, the sparks faded, and it quick and it continued eating. After finishing the spoonful, it walked over to the pot and joined the other Pokemon in eating. The season starts next week, right? Marnie asked me. I nodded. Yeah, it is. Me and I got an expedition match coming up. Alina wants to surprise me of with who I'm going against. You already got a uniform figured out? Marnie asked me as I picked up my plate of curry. Uh, I, I took a bite. Yeah, I'm... You'll just have to wait and see, I said, whooping your nose. It was, I was probably seeing things, but I could have sworn her cheeks went the slightest bit pink. Oh. I, I walked in the door, nonchalantly strolling to my room and tossing my bag on the bed before walking into the living room, where my mom was sitting on the couch. How was your day? Mom asked as I sat next to her. Fair. I spent most of the day helping Marnie catch up Bishart, I said. Well, that was nice of you, Mom said. I shrugged. Most of it was just us messing around. The bishop just happened to pop up near us. After that, the room was filled with silence. Fidget with the helm of my skirt, gathering up the courage to ask what I wanted to know. Finally, I blurted it out. Are there any updates on Dad? Mom looked over at me, sideways surprised on her face. I avoided her gaze, preferring to stare down at my own hands. Mom sighed. Only that he hasn't seemed to be getting any better. Oh, damn, our dad's dying. <laughs> womp yeah. Womp. Yeah. <laughs> I grabbed the helm. I grabbed a handful of my skirt, and some hair fell in front of my eyes. Some of the best doctors in the world, and they can't figure out what's wrong with them. It's not that simple, shit. I'm 16, Mom. I feel it's not that simple, I explained. That doesn't mean I can accept it so easily. I jumped to my feet, walking to my room and grabbing my bag, heading out the door. Dude, you just got home. You're gonna exhaust yourself, Mom said, standing up. My hand hesitated on the doorknob. Do they have the expensity for him? Wait. Expect- Oh, expectancy. Oh, I can't read. Yeah, expectancy. <laughs> Do they have an expectancy <laughs> for him? I choked out. Mom stopped for a second. After a tense silence, she uttered two words. One month. My head, my head flipped over. One month? How bad is it? Very. He's been on a ventilator for about a week now. My grip tightened around the cold metal of the doorknob. Can we go see him over the weekend? Mom paused again just for a second. The doctors aren't letting anyone visit him. I opened the door. Tears escaped from my eyes and it flint and slammed it behind me. But they called the taxi. I need to go somewhere. Anywhere. I heard my mom yelling a, yell a curse when I that I couldn't care to repeat after the taxi arrived. Damn. Yeah. Yep. God damn, what the- I thought this was gonna be a, a cool little lesbian thing, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yep, there's some sad moments, unfortunately. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, I tied my hair up as Lena gave me the usual introduction to the match. This will be my first exposition match as champion, and well at the, f as well as the first and only preseason battle. The outcome in this battle did not matter in the long run. I was still somewhat nervous. It was easy. It was easily the biggest crowd I've ever seen since my battle with Leon, and I wanted to make a good first impression. I examined my brand new champion cape, checkered purple with a white fuzzy trim. Similar to Leon's old cape, and the Galar coat of arms stitched out in the back. I heard my cue and pulled on my glove as I walked through the smoke to the center of the arena. Everyone cheered as the smoke cleared and I cracked my knuckles, taking a deep breath, pushing hesitation out of my mind. I snapped with my right oh shit. I sat with my left hand, raising it up and pointing at the sky with with one fluid motion. The crowd seemed to like my new champion gesture. As my, as most imitated me, cheering. Leon grinned widely at this, throwing me a thumbs up before turning to the crowd. Now, get ready for the preseason exposition match! I looked to the other side of the stadium to see my challenger, and I was not surprised by the figure I saw. Bede walked down the field, 
smirk on his face, twirling a Pokeball in his hand. He had adapted well to being the new fairy gym leader in the past year. His attitude had lightened slightly substantially, and he had added some flair to his outfit. His old pink coat was draped around his shoulder. It, this would have looked a bit silly on if he had not gotten taller. He was taller than me now, which I have several complaints with. But his growth, <laughs> but with his growth spurt, even I had to admit he looked cool. I nonchalantly tossed out. Ex fuck! I, we just pronounced it earlier. Ex fuck. Toxicity. Toxicity. Yes. <laughs> Before Veed even reached his pitch. Quite a large cloud today, you think? Veed scoffed. Oh, please. I've seen much bigger than this, but it's still enough to embarrass you after my victory. I shook my head, clicking my tongue. Oh, Veed, you always say that, but you have yet to actually win against me. But if you want to keep talking about sucking out of your, <laughs> your arse... Ours? And dig that hole deeper, be my guess. I guess those people are talking out of your ass. Be like, you're bullshit. Yeah. Okay. But they can't turn yeah. to the Pokemon. <laughs> be threw his Pokeball. A Mimikyu flew out, to my surprise. That's new, I commented. I'm full of surprises, Be said, his smirk widening. Shut the ball. I'm gonna be really disappointed if we open up this next chapter and it does not, like read out. Okay, good. I'm, like, somewhat, like, yeah. saw the first line. Okay, that's good. We actually get to see the, the battle. <laughs> yeah. Because I would have been Yay. mega disappointed. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Shadow Claw, Bead called. Mimikyu launched itself at Toxicity, extending its arm from under its cloth and scratching Toxicity across the face. Toxicity stood, stood its ground, hissing, it, hissing in defiance. Sludge wave, I yelled, and Toxicity didn't waste a second. Shooting out a surge of toxic goop, Mimikyu was covered in the sludge, and its head of its disguise went limp. Shadow Claw again, Beat exclaimed, his teeth gritting. I smirked at his frustration. Sludge wave! The two Pokemon repeated their previous actions, with the Mimikyu being knocked out this time. Beat sent out his Rapidash. Drill run! Toxicity was hit hard, both of them stayed standing, and I returned it, sending out Dragapult. Phantom Force! Dragapult... Dra Dragapult do dove into a purple po to a purple portal. Bees rapid dash frantically looking around at, at as the portal closed. The crowd went silent in anticipation. B B two remained silent, waiting for Dragapult to reappear. Dazzling gleam! B yelled at as the portal opened. Rapid dash was too slow to react and, and fell to the attack. B returned his rapid dash. I admit, you fight like you fight like a champion should. I raised my eyebrow. Why, Bead? That was a compliment? You can't be handling those- You can't be handing those out when you have a reput reputation to- To uphold. Bead rolled his eyes. It was- It was hardly praise. Besides, I will be the one who comes out on top. He exclaimed, throwing out Mawile. Not- Not with mistakes like that, you won't. Flamethrower, I shouted confidently. As you can imagine, the Mywall did not take the steam the steam of flames well, and was and was returned within seconds of being sent out. Beat bead cur bead cursed under his breath, sending out Sylveon. Dude, language! We're being broad we're, we're being broadcast across across the region, you know. I said, switching to Lucario. <laughs> Shadow Ball, Flash Cannon. The Pokemon traded blast boat. Both left stand standing, but but the Sylveon shaking. Blaze kick, Lucario jumped. Blaze kick, Lucario jumped to the air, and as he fell towards Sylveon, his leg burst into flames, and he threw out a round, and he threw and he threw a roundhouse kick, kick in Sylveon's face, sending out its fly, sending it flying into the stadium wall. B quickly returned Sylveon. So I said as Lucario backed up and relaxed a bit. What's next? Beat grunted in frustration, tossing out Gardevoir. Psychic! Lucario stumbled and almost fell forward, but firmly planted its fist, fist in the ground. Struggling back up, I returned it. Sending out Rillaboom. Drum beating! Dazzling gleam! Beat yelled as the vines whipped, whipped the Gardevoir. 
Rillaboom tanked the hit and fired back and, and, and fired back with a with a darkest darkest laureate. Knocking the Gardevoir out. Both of us return to our Pokemon. Now then, how about we show these people what what they're here for, I ask, once again taking out Toxicity's ball. Be smirk despite himself. I guess we are here to put on to put on a show after all, he said, pulling out his Hatterene's great ball. The crowd roared in excitement as our as our Dy Dynamax bands fill bands filled out our Pokeballs with energy. B, grace B gracefully tossed the ball behind him as I threw my ball over my shoulder with a confident grin on my face. T the two balls burst open, Hattering and Toxicity growing into their Gigantamax forms. Both Pokemon roar, shaking the ground with the sound alone. Cheap G Max Stun Shock, I shouted. Max Mindstorm, Bead yelled. Toxicity was too fast for the Hatterene as it slammed its, quite literally, electric guitar onto the ground, causing purple lightning to crash down on the Hatterene, which seized up with leftover sparks. Bee's eyes widened, but before he could say anything, I yelled my final command, Max Ooze! Geysers of, po Geysers of poison erupted from, from under Hatterene, which exploded and shrunk down as Bee returned it. Toxicity too shrunk down. Running over to my side as I walked up to Bead, the crowd going wild all around us. Nice match, I said, offering a handshake. Bead reluctantly accepted it, a adding, "The same won't happen next time." I I turned from him, walking toward the locker rooms. Keep telling yourself that, I said with a smirk. I took a bite of my of my mal malasada, some crumbs falling into my lap. Pop, Marnie, and I sat. Sat, sat, sat on a bench in Widen, near, near Northern Delights, where we all, where we all have gotten the food. The wind blew blew slightly through, through the small court, rustling the leaves of the trees directly behind us, and the hedges that framed the small bat battlefield where Marnie and I had just battled moments ago. Another loss, Marnie said, as she run unwrapped her malasada. Ah, oh, don't look so. Aw, oh, don't look so discouraged. I said. Hop leaned back, crossing his legs. She's right. You're a hell. You're a hell of a trainer, Mar Mar Marnie. Even being able to to rival the champion is impressive. M Marnie took a small bite, taking a second to to chew and, and swallow before responding. It's just you. you it's just you. You. you just you, you. You make you. You make you. You, you make everything look so easy. You, 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 swept, you swept through Beat's team earlier, like it, like it was nothing. She said, looking at me. Even he gave, even he gave me a bit of trouble, and you, in, in your league, in your league's better, better than he is. I said, Hop snorted, though, though he wouldn't strongly disagree that the statement, if he were, if he were here. M Marty remained silent, taking another bite. Don't be so hard on yourself, Marnie. She's a tough opponent to beat. I've never beat her, beat her either. N neither has beat or most of the gym leaders, or or even then. Shield, you only lost like once to Raihan, right? Hop said. I nodded with the Malasada still in my mouth. Once to Raihan and once to Alistair. I sighed. I sighed in annoyance at the memory. Dra dra Dragon type gym leader, my art, my arse. I muttered. <laughs> I suppose that's true, Marnie said, finishing her malasada. I just hope I can get a good. De de I just hope I can get a, get a good debit. You you already have, I said. The internet went crazy over your photo shoot. Hop laughed. Yeah, that was that was fun to witness. I've overheard you talk. I I I, I over I, I overheard talk of both of you quite a few times. Oh really? Do tell, I said to Hop. He shook his head. I'm I'm just I'm just fine keeping it to myself, he said with a grin. It's almost it's almost like you're asking for a battle, I said. If you want to tear apart half the city, be my guest, a buzz a buzz from a buzz from Hop's pocket. And and, and, and he pulled out his phone, ta tapping tapping in his password. Really, Sonia? he said under his breath. Something wrong? M Marnie asked Marnie asked Marnie asked as Hop stood up. He, he shoved the rest of his malasada in his mouth. 
tossing the rap tossing the wrapper in, in, into a nearby bin. I gotta hop over to the lab. So so you screwed up a cac so you screwed up a calculation big time. So naturally I have to help her fix it, Hop said, tapping at his phone. I I, I stood I stood up too, fist pumping fist pumping with Hop before he walked away. So I said, turning to Marnie, what what do you want to do now? Marnie thought for a second. You want to go back to my place and watch a movie or something? I shrugged. Fine by me. I pretty much spent the rest of the day at Marnie's watching movies with her. It was around midnight. It was around midnight. We we, we were watching Revenge Revenge of Sith, and Marnie was clearly getting tired. You you don't want to stay up. You don't want to stay up this late usually, do you? I asked with a chuckle. Marnie rubbed her eyes. Nah. How do you manage manage this all the time? Through rigorous training and conditioning, I joked. That 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 is just just doing it until I get used to it. Honestly, I should go I should go fix my sleep schedule before the season starts. I heard the door open from beside us and I looked over to see Pierce walk through. He glanced over at us. Still up, eh? He asked, slipping off his jacket and hanging up to the and hanging up to the hook by hook by the door. Just hanging, bro, Marnie said. Pierce walked to the small kitchen. Pierce walked, Pierce walked into the small kitchen, which was only a few meters from us. He poured himself a drink. Well, I don't bug you about sleep. Well, well, I won't bug you about sleeping. Ar 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 Arceus knows I ain't one to talk. I looked over at Marty, who seemed to be in a, who seemed to be in a struggle to stay awake. Looks like there looks like there will be two of you, <laughs> two of you hitting the sack soon. I said, smiling slightly. Marty puffed her cheeks out. I can't keep myself awake. Just watch. Pierce, Pierce down the glass, putting it, putting it on the counter to watch tomorrow, and walked over to the door. And walked to, to over to the door that led to his bedroom. Boy, shield. If if, if Marty falls asleep, could, could, if Marty falls asleep, could you carry her? Could you carry her to her room? Ma Ma Marty looked like Marty looked like she wanted to protest, but I replied before she could. Of course. Good night, Pierce. Good night, you two. Pierce said. Closing the door behind him. I'm not going to sleep until you leave, Marnie said. What if I don't leave and what if I don't leave until you sleep? I said with a grin in my face. <laughs> Marty pouted. That's not fair, she groaned. I laughed a bit. I'm only joking, Marnie. About now about an hour later, in, 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 as, as Anakin and, and Obi Obi Wan started fighting, I felt Marnie lay her head on on my shoulder. I glanced. I glanced over. My cheeks reddening. Oh, I love the little shoulder laying, shoulder sleep. That's so cute. <laughs> Marnie's cheeks went pink. That is okay, right? I smiled. Yeah, it's fine. I I heard Marnie's breathing slow, slow as she fell asleep, leaning on me. Needless to say, it it was a bit hard to focus on the rest of the movie. Oh, this is beautiful. I loved it. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was really good. I loved that ending there, mm -hmm. where Marnie just fell asleep on her shoulder. It was so cute. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I love this little author's note of the the choice of movie was in fact completely intentional. You know about, you know, how about we just make it a running joke in Pokemon stories? If any of you are writing a Pokemon story in which a character is watching a movie, make the movie Revenge of the Sith. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> But no, this is an absolute good read so far. Yeah, y yes, it's yeah. I yeah, I told you it's really good. Yeah, like there there are some sad moments, but overall it, it is. Really good. I I really like it. Yeah, definitely. We have to definitely bring this back. Hopefully, the wheel lands Absolutely. on it at some point. Yeah. Yeah, and big shout out to this author. They did an amazing job writing this. <laughs> But it, it's time to see if we, um, are we going to suffer next time we have to record? Or are we going to love life? <laughs> Hopefully love life. Yeah, I don't know. It could be Alec gets a divorce. Who knows? Yeah. It could be anything. Yep. <laughs> okay. A beautiful, beautiful wheel. We got a lot of options yes. to go through. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm scared. Me too. <laughs> oh, okay. This is oh, good. Oh, okay. 
I get to choose! You get to pick how we suffer next time! Let's go! Yay! Let's go! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Do you have a book in mind of what you're gonna pick? Um... I'm not really sure yet. I'll, I'll have I'll have to think about it, but yeah, I will try to find a, a decent one. <laughs> Let's go. As long as it's not yeah. like that, like DJ X reader. I'll, yeah. I'll read it. <laughs> yeah. Fingers, cr fingers crossed. Yeah. Well, I absolutely cannot wait to see. This was an absolute treasure to, to yes. read. Why not? It was. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I figured you would. Yeah. I, I just got done doing the uh, the sore nuzlocke, so it's good to to kind of do like a little post thing with like fan fiction with it. Nice. But if you guys would like to read through this book, I have a link down below in the description. Uh, the author did a great job with this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so definitely give them a follow on Wattpad and tell them that you love their book and that they're a great person. <laughs> Hopefully, mm -hmm. that'd be really- that'd be really shitty if we were like, you'd be awesome, and it turns out they're yeah. like, a really bad, horrible person, yeah. but I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. They did do a really good job on this. It's- uh, again, like, for Wattpad, it's definitely one of the best writings I've ever seen. Yes. I like how we had to re- like, reiterate that of, for a Wattpad book, this is really good. <laughs> it is. And it really be is. Have it be any other medium, we would think it was not that good. But for Wattpad standards, this is high up there. Yes, that, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but thank thank you for joining, man. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have guests back here in my uh, my yeah. dumpster behind the Walmart. It, it's real nice. <laughs> yeah, it is. I do. I really enjoy it. Yeah. But I'll also have Kenzie's channel link down below in the description, so go follow them on, on YouTube and whatnot. I'll pressure them to make more content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Kenzie, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.